ganz zu schauen, so alt es sagt. Du kommst mir hier bei Rover her in Land. Bare Jahre, der Wind ist fein. Vor wem brichst du mir, was wie du je? Wir werden ganz zu schauen, so alt es sagt. Wir sind schon über, hole ich dich da fest. Und wir sind da, der ist gut vor allem. Dei und mei, jeg ville valgt Hvis verden raser sammen, så er dette sagt Hi, beautiful friends. As you can tell, I moved. I want to talk about the situation in America. I've been taking my time to reflect on what I want to say. There is this very big pressure now to quickly say something and quickly jump on board. If not, you're getting judged for not being supportive and just being an asshole. Um, so a lot of people have just been posting a lot of things without really reflecting on it and not really feeling what is the right thing for me to say. Um, and me as a white person and as a person with a bit of a following I think it's important to reflect on how you deal with this. An example is when everyone posted those black squares, which everyone of course had good intentions of just showing that they were here to support, but in the end it didn't have that much of a... It didn't do what we wanted it to do, which was to spread awareness. It prevented a lot of people from spreading awareness. So please keep that in mind, take your time and also let other people take their time uh, to say what they want to say and don't pressure anyone to just quickly say something just for the sake of it. So that being said, for the first time I have fully understood what white privilege really means and I feel very very humbled by it. So what it means is that it doesn't mean that you haven't gone to struggles, that your childhood wasn't difficult, that you were born into a rich family or anything like that. What it means is that the color of your skin will not be another thing that will prevent you from doing things that you want to do in life, that will close this door for you, that will um, put you in danger. That is all and that is undeniable. The third thing that I want to say is that it is time for a change. It is long overdue. And this is not a job for one group of people. This is a job for everyone to be a part of and do their part. This problem was created by white people in the first place. So we as white people can't lean back and expect the black community to solve this. We need to be a part of that change. But our job is to listen because we don't know what it has felt like throughout all of these years and we just need to listen and do what they want us to do and just be humbled by it. No one is saying that you are a bad person for being a white person, of course not. None of us has decided what to be born into, what race to be born into, but just be humble about your privilege and listen to what they have to say. The next thing that I want to share is that we are all reacting to this differently. There's a nightmare going on in the world right now and just respect the different people's different reactions to it. So personally, for me, anger does not motivate me to make a change. What motivates me to make a change are acts of kindness, when I see people stepping up and doing the right thing, when people speaking truth from their hearts and just coming from a place of love. That really resonates with me and makes me want to be better and do better. Um, I know that that isn't the case for everyone and I do not judge other people's reaction to this whole situation. And I think we all should just respect that we are different and we are gonna react to this differently. The next thing that I want to share, I know it's a lot, but just let me get through it, I'm almost done. Everything that is shared online now is necessary for us to make a change because it needs to be known what is going on. But when that is known, please make sure to take care of your mental health. A peaceful and loving world will not be built up by broken people. We History can tell us that, we can learn that from history. And for too long, too many people have been broken. So educate yourself, but 
please take care of your mental health so that we can get out on the other side being in a good place I know it's difficult I'm not saying it's easy um, but it is necessary for us to be able to build up a loving world because change starts within it's cheesy as fuck but it's true I will leave links below to books talks articles movies whatever it may be that will educate you as a white person um, on black culture and history and also uh, links to for you to sign petitions and donate money and lastly i just want to say to all my black followers i'm here for you i support you and um, i'm i'm gonna do my part Okay, that was a mouthful. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be the entire video, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, take care of yourself and I will continue to share things on social media um, whenever it is positive and just showing my everyday life. Just for the record, that is not to piss on anyone who is going through difficult times right now, it is to open a window as a reminder of that the world is beautiful and there are places like this out in the world right now where, where there's peace and peace is possible, it exists and yeah, I'll just do my best to spread some love and um, yeah that is my favorite sound the seagulls I know a lot of people are find them annoying but it reminds me of this place because this is where I grew up. I grew up in a house, I think it was behind that mountain there, not quite sure. I felt like I was floating way above the earth atmosphere looking down on what used to be home what used to be familiar and joyful the roots wrap around my ankles and pull me back down to earth digging themselves deep grounding me the stars are still teasing me i find my arms stretching trying to reach for them as my fingertips get a taste of the light, I'm reminded of who I am. Returning home is more than returning to a physical space. I grew up here on these islands. I was shaped by the heavy storms and the dramatic mountains. But my heart belongs to nature, no matter where in the world that is. From the burning desert to the freezing poles. No matter where I am, I can't escape the truth. I'm home. Hmm, look how peaceful. So the time is 9.30 p.m. And the sun is gonna be up until Tomorrow, and the day after, and the day after, and the day after. Hi, Auntie. 